as NBA's Summer League tips off in Las Vegas, one NBA Hall of Famer and Olympic gold medalist is helping to fight a battle off the court. Known for his groundbreaking Supreme Court case that overturned the NBA's four-year eligibility rule, NBA star Spencer Haywood is adding a new title to his resume, not surprised, as a member of the Dean's Advisory Committee at Roseman University College of Medicine, where he will be focusing on getting disadvantaged communities in Las Vegas, the COVID-19 vaccine and health care access. Spencer is joining us now for more on what he's up to. Great to see you, Spencer. Great to have to see you, too. How are you? <laughs> All right. It's been many a years. All right. You yeah. already wear so many hats as an NBA Hall of Famer, Olympic gold medalist. Now you're going to be a committee member at Roseman's College of Medicine. So what inspired you to take on this role, Spencer? Well, my daughter, Shakira, inspired me. She's a doctor. And uh, also, I, I just see a, a, a definitely need for this country and for Roseman University in the city of Las Vegas to train uh, young Black and Hispanic doctors because we all, we're down to perhaps 2% uh, of the doctors in America and maybe one and a half percent here in Las Vegas. So we need to train up some doctors. And I use the basketball theory that when we start training at young athletes, we start training them 14, 15 and, and younger to become basketball players. Why not focus on medicine? And we will then have uh, this crisis that we are facing in the African-American community, in particular in the Hispanic community, we are not being vaccinated because of the fear. Uh, there's misinformation that's going out, uh, you know, about the vaccine and about what happened in, with the Tuskegee experiment. And the Tuskegee experiment was about uh, not getting the vaccine and not having the vaccine available. And if you even go back to our founding father, George Washington, George Washington, when we had a smallpox uh, infiltration of America, he decided to vaccinate all of his troops. So it's that time. We have to get America back on, on, on the right footing. And the only way we can do it is getting uh, our people vaccinated and also training up our doctors because I mean, it helps when you have, um, you know, a person of your own ear and your color to come to you and say, hey, you know, it's okay to get a vaccine. And so uh, I'm just here to help and try to encourage all Americans, actually, to let's, let's play for the winning team. We just saw the Olympic basketball team just won the gold. We saw American uh, Olympic team won uh, a number of goals, so it would be it would be just a great thing if we all pull together and make this all work. So, Spencer, what can you tell us about the communities you're trying to help here and the struggle that they face when it comes to access to health care? Well, the access to health care is it's coming around a little bit better, but as far as the, the African American community. We uh, have so much fear about getting health care. But, you know, how can you have fear for, uh, you know, trying to get health care and trying to get a vaccine, for an example, and yet you, you put all kinds of other stuff into your body, alcohol and other stuff, and you don't know what's in that alcohol. So it's like we, we have an up we have battle and we want to make a change. We have to try to amplify this voice a thousandfold and help people understand that we are in a crisis and we need to train young doctors. We need to get out and get vaccinated. It's so important. Otherwise, we're not going to pull out of this as fast as we should here in America. And, you know, you 
point out, you, you want to get out there and you want to encourage people to get vaccinated. You're there in Vegas, NBA Summer League tipping off. That's exciting. Yeah. But according to HHS, uh, Clark County, where Vegas is located, has had a 26 percent increase, Spencer, in hospitalizations in the past 14 days. And case numbers average 814 a day. And according to the CDC, only 52 percent of adults ages 18 and up are fully vaccinated. So what's your goal here? How are you going to help take on this COVID crisis and encourage folks to get vaccinated? Well, by coming on the great ABC show today, for one, one aspect of it, I'm here at the Thomas and Mac Arena, where we have 30 teams uh, here. We have uh, an arena full of people. So I, I'm, I'm walking around the arena. I'm talking with people about getting back getting vaccinated. And, and again, I, I, I go on different radio shows, TV shows to encourage people to just get vaccinated. Because, you know, our economy is on tourism here in America and in Las Vegas. It's on about uh, events and so on. So we have to protect those visitors that are coming in town and those people who are coming in town by vaccinating ourselves, you know, getting vaccinated so we can be a good host. And so right now we're not being a good host because we, we, are, we are falling behind in vaccination and we got to encourage those people who are coming in town to get their vaccination here as well if they, if they would like to. All right. NBA famer Spencer Haywood, we appreciate your time and the work you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.